今天的节目《幸福团聚在西湖》，二零一九年农历新年庆祝活动六集之五，播出师傅会见他的俗家亲人，双方温馨交流，真情流露的时刻。I'm getting more emotional <laughs> with the time. Yeah, before I was tough girl, remember? <laughs> And now I'm getting more emotional. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Love you. My sister. <laughs> My younger sister. We both just lost our elder sister. This is my niece. Oh, chồng đâu? Go, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> oh, first time I see you. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of my niece. Yeah, you good boy, you good boy. <laughs> you too. Thank you for taking care of my older sister when she's <laughs> sick. Thank you, both of you. I love you so much. Give me some money. <laughs> here, hi. Uh, Happy New Year. Wow, you grow so big! <laughs> Can't believe it. Oh no, no, my old. When you come see me, you were just a little kid, and now you grow so big, and I'm getting older. Ở nhà có mấy người? Dạ. Ở nhà còn mấy đứa nhỏ? Hai. Phải đếm nữa hả? Nhiều dữ vậy đó hả? Đếm nữa. Coi đủ năm không? Dạ đủ. Okay. Ở nhà còn bao nhiêu người? Còn ba đứa nhỏ ha. Rồi, cầm đây. Rồi, ok. Nếu mà gửi được, tượng trưng thôi, chứ không có nhiều đâu. <cười> không có mua được chocolate rồi gì đâu. Ok. I'm very proud of my niece. Uh, she just lost her mother, but I was with them all the way until she's gone. Her mother, my elder sister, I was very proud of her because she's one of the saints, the sacrifice for peace. Yeah? One of the four pillars of peace. I'm proud of her, very proud. She has, my sister never asked me for any financial support. I also forgot all about it. Sometimes, you know, when she comes and I give something, you know, because they are not very well off. But uh, they never ask me anything. My niece, she never asked me for anything. And she even raised three children in college. One is studying to be a doctor. The other already graduated as a nurse. Another one in school, yeah. And she never asked me anything. She, they have a very small nail shop, yeah, to do nails. And they can take care of three kids like that. And I am too busy with my big family. I forgot this little family. I never helped them anything. But they got by, and the kids gone to college. And the kids were excellent, have scholarship for medical school, for medical university and can even have choice because he's so excellent. So excellent that he, he, he could have choice of school, of college, wherever he wants. Everything paid. Really big scholarship. I'm very proud of, of her and her husband. Both of them just working in the nail shop and selling some small things. They never asked me any financial support up until I I heard my sister sick and then I helped them something for the funeral and some hospital stuff. And they still live in the mobile, mobile home. I just want to tell you this because I'm very proud of them. You understand? I'm very, very proud of my niece and her husband and the three kids because I have not helped them. I am too busy with the world. Understand me? It's, it's not right, but I will help them a little more in the future, if they need, if they need. You can see I don't spoil my family members, okay? My sister and her husband here, they want to buy a house for another kid. <laughs> I haven't even helped them anything. And they have never expected anything from me. So you don't think my family member thinking that I am rich and then uh, you know, want to have things for me, never, okay? If whatever I give them, I give. If I don't give, they never ask. When I say I give, 
I mean only my parents and my two sisters, but very rarely, only occasionally, and not a lot, because uh, they also see me only when I'm the public, you know, just like you see me, and maybe even less. They see me less than you see me, and I'm too busy with you and the world, and I even have hardly any time to take care of them. I should have. My parent passed away. I should have taken more care of my sisters and my niece. I have never given her anything because I haven't seen her for decades, at least 20-some 20, 20 years. Because she was uh, growing up and staying in America, and I hardly go there anymore. I hardly went there anymore, and uh, then she married and have children and busy with her own life. And, and I, you know, I'm busy with my job. So I truly have neglected them much. I apologize to them. But what can I do? I'm the only one person. I have so much work. But I'm so glad that they've grown up without me. <laughs> they do fine, yes. I'm so proud. I'm so glad to see her today. 42 years old. 43 years old already. When I saw her, she was very young and not maybe teen age, but less. Teen age, maybe. Can't remember how long since I saw her. And I'm proud of her because they both work in just a small nail shop, very small, and can raise three kids to college and live in mobile home. You know, and she, she buys some cheap things sometimes, you know, for if they have. They both do nails, yeah, okay? And it's a hard job. You know, you have to bend all day at the people's feet, okay? It's a very humble job. But I'm so proud because they earn their honest money. I'm so proud. I hope she make a good example for all of you. Don't think that if you do something big or have a good position or being rich in the society, then I am proud of you. It's not. I told her I'm very proud of her. And she just lost her mother, you know, some days ago. My sister here and her husband and both of them and all the kids and all the niece that came and crying and I have to be with them all the time, at that time, yeah? And she's gone now to the new land because she was a great saint. <laughs> she gone very quick to the new land because she was a great saint and she suffered so much for the world just to get 3.4% of peace to help me out. We had only 93% already. So that four of them help to make it over the 100. It's better that way, it's more strong. But they suffer a lot, a lot. They suffer too much. I could not do anything, because it's their choice. They want it that way. USB. Yeah. Tại ba cái USB Tức là mình để mình, mình coi, mình bỏ yeah. vô trong uh, trong uh, điện não coi được á yeah, yeah, yeah. Hôm trước á, ok yeah. I told her I'm very proud of her Very proud of them This is the way we should live our life, ok Not wanting what we don't have But want what we have And be happy Humbly serve the society Earn your honest living and do your spiritual practice. And that's what I'm proud of, okay? I'm proud of when you earn your honest living and do your spiritual meditation every day. That's all I ask. I don't ask you to do anything much. Not for me personally, even. I'm proud of you, okay? And she's also very, have a very good heart. And she went to Vietnam. She saw some poor people. She asked me if she can use the money that still left over from her mother's uh, funeral to help the poor people. 
I say, of course, whatever left over is your money. I don't ask it back. <laughs> I don't want it back. Uh, they even say that we will give it back. I say, no, no need. Huh? No need. No yeah. I'm very proud that even though she doesn't have a lot, but she still wants to give. Yeah. She went out and buy some, some, some stuff also. Apart from being a nail shop, she buys some stuff when people give discount and then she put it in her shop also to sell, <laughs> together with the nail business. Uh, I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you for taking care of this hard head. Yeah? <laughs> she is not easy. She is very tough. <laughs> very tough, but very smart. I was so surprised. I was so surprised. She and my sister, very smart, uh, common sense, you know, common sense smart. Because they're thinking fast and react fast. And when I was talking to them about things, then I know they're very smart. I said, my God, you guys are so smart. I really meant it. I was surprised. In such a quick situation with her mother laying there on sick bed, and they still think so fast. And she never wanted to leave her mother. Of course, she's the last one. Okay, she's the last daughter of my sister. And they both went through with thick and thin together. And she has only her mother except her husband uh, until the kids come. And her mother is her world. So she was very, very devastated. And I was there for her and for them. Otherwise she would have feel worse, probably would not recover so fast. You okay now? Yes. You happy for your mom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. You miss her, but happy, right? Yes. They both don't look anything. They don't have any luxury, but they are very rich. You understand? You're very rich inside, and I like that. Keep that way, okay? Yeah. Keep that way. That's my niece. <laughs> That's my family. I like it that way. I don't like that you looking as a neighbor and thinking, oh, they have that, and I want that. I don't want that, okay? I want you to be honest, good person, okay? And if really anything you need, you can ask me. Only when you really need. Yeah, uh, okay. 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 okay, yeah. They're telling me that their mother and sister give them jewelry <laughs> before she left. Yeah, but uh, too late, you know, when she came, she already in coma, yeah, and the doctor cannot help her anymore. But now she is in the new land, so fast. Even my parents had to wait some years in order to go there, but she went fast, fast, within one week or ten days, because she was a great saint. She, she doesn't look it. She looks very simple person, you know, and sometimes she say things that you don't think, <laughs> you don't know how to make sense. Or you, you think she said in the wrong place. But she inside she's a great saint. Her greatness inside nobody see. She play her role so well, nobody even know, even their family member. Now, only I knew. Yeah. All right then, just a short introduction. <laughs> so otherwise you think why I <laughs> I treat them special. <laughs> okay. Cái nhà đó cho con cháu ở chung với nhau cho nó ấm áp, đừng có mua thêm nhà nữa cái nhà đâu. Cô sư phụ mua cho mẹ cha phải giữ, ok? Chứ đừng có dọn đi đâu cho con gái nó ở trong đó nó có gia trì, hiểu không? Mua thêm nhà mới làm cái gì? <cười> Tốn tiền, hiểu không? Với lại có mình phải nợ là người ta đời sống trong sạch. Mình vui là đủ, khỏi cần mua nhà cửa gì cả. Ok. À, sư phụ bây giờ đang ở trong cái cái gì biết không? Cái động Mm. <laughs> I tell them where I live. Do they know? I say I live in a cave right now. <laughs> okay, and I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Zhongcheng's audience, thank you for listening to the Happy Family Gathering in Xihu, 2019 New Year's Eve celebration.